So before we start this video, comment down below if you want to see a full in-depth guide to chain grabbing the space animals on FD. Also, as per request, and to celebrate hitting 300 subscribers, I will be releasing a sheet guide sometime later this week, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss it. Thank you. Alright, so today I'll be giving you guys a beginner's guide to playing Marth in Melee. We covered Falco in our last video, so make sure that you check that out if you missed it. But today we'll be talking about Marth and how to play him in neutral. He has a very strong neutral game in the right hands, and he's one of the most graceful characters in any smash game. Marth's biggest advantage is his range. His sword is disjointed and has long range allowing for him to pressure and poke his opponents without much fear of his attacks directly losing to his opponents. If you space and time your attacks correctly, you should always out-prioritize your opponent. These disjoints come with the added benefit of being exceptionally good at edge guarding, especially against the space animals. His attacks also come with the benefit of tippering, resulting in more damage and knockback. Marth also has something else that is very long. His arms. Marth has the longest non-tether grab in the game. He combines this with his top tier dash dance and wave dash to create a very potent ground game, walling his opponents out with safe aerials and whiff punishing unsafe approaches with dash dance grab. So if Marth has superior range and priority on all his moves and can easily control the ground and air, what are some of his weaknesses? As mentioned before, if you time and space your moves correctly, you will always beat out your opponent's attacks, but the key there is time and space. Marth doesn't have any lasting hitboxes, and they all require precision and control in order to use them effectively. For example, in my last video, I talked about how you can do aerials either early or late with both having their strengths and weaknesses. For those of you who haven't seen it, which I recommend that you do, the basic gist is that early aerials can be evaded and whiff punished or shield grab, while late aerials can be interrupted before they come out. This concept applies to Marth far stronger than it does to Falco since Marth doesn't have any lasting hitboxes while Falco does. If Marth whiffs a fair, he is now in serious danger of getting punished and full comboed off just one mistake. You must understand how to swing against a good opponent if you want to become a good Marth player. Marth's next biggest weakness is his recovery. It is extremely limited and can be easily exploited by any good player. While Marth's edge guarding is incredible, it is just as easy to edge guard Marth. Be cautious of how you recover and don't get predictable. So for the neutral game, learn how to play both offense and defense. Since Marth's attacks outprioritize most moves, players will usually attempt to whiff punish your aerials by dash dancing around them. Most players won't try to evade your attacks by jumping over them, since you can easily juggle them from that position, so you really only need to worry about horizontal approaches. If they try to whiff punish your approaches, you can overshoot an attack to hit them out of their dash dance, either by using a dash attack or a down tilt. You can also attempt to do a very shallow aerial in place to bait them into a bad approach that can easily be whiff punished. If they try to interrupt your overshoot, you can evade and whiff punish their attempt to immediately retaliate. If they then try to overshoot to beat your evasive movement, you can then go for an immediate attack to stuff their forward movement and the cycle repeats. TLDR, overshoots are beaten by interrupts such as early aerials and quick ground moves, interrupts are beaten by evasive movement such as dash dancing or wave dash down, and evasion movement is beaten by overshooting either with a dash attack or down tilt. If they do decide to approach from above, you can completely wall them out with up tilts and up airs, and also fares depending on the angle and timing. If they try to immediately land with an aerial, you can stuff it with an attack, but you have to be careful about double jump mix-ups. Since most characters have terrible aerial drift, you can also just dash dance to whiff punish their aerials as they land. So that was a basic overview of Mark and his neutral Hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe to me to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.